I'm going to shut the one that goes to the miter saw and open the one that goes to the sander and turn it all on and we'll see what happens. Today I'm going to try to build a dust collection system. And I made a post on Instagram showing off the, the parts that I got. Big shop back, dust deputy, whole bunch of hoses, uh, some of these gate valves. I even got myself a Home Depot bucket. Comes with a, uh, a gasket up in there. The guy on Instagram says, No, no, Hayes, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. You need a full professional grade system. I'm gonna try it anyways, because I already got the parts. I want some dust collection on the table saw, the miter saw, and I want one that hangs down from the ceiling that I can hook into my random orbital sander. When I get more time and maybe some more real estate inside of here, I might build a little addition off the back to put the compressor and maybe a, one of those big giant dust collection systems. But for right now, this is what I have time to do, and this is what I have the real estate in here to work with. Let's see if we can put this together in a few hours and get it to work, get it to suck. The first challenge is going to be mounting the dust deputy to the lid. Lid of this, uh, where the heck do you get the lid off? There you go. The lid of the bucket. I'm just going to pop the lid off so that I could trace the inside of it. That wasn't too difficult. <laughs> I could only find a three inch hole saw. I need about a three and a quarter inch hole saw. I've got a whole bunch. For some reason I have four, four inch hole saws. I have no idea why I have so many. That's a nice hole. Look at that hole. Looks to be just about perfect. Now, you're going to see a lot of people who build this on a rolling cart. Uh, I'm just going to have it set up underneath the table saw over there. Um, and I don't intend on rolling it around. But uh, the first connection I have to make, I'm going to use this 20 foot section, or a section of it, to go from the shop back to the top. This part goes into the shop back, and it was a perfect fit on there. And these are thumb screw clamps that came with the kit. One of the concerns with this setup is that the bucket will collapse. Um, so I'm going to just turn it on and put some resistance over this 
and see what happens. Um, you might want to turn your volume down. I will turn it down in the editing, um, so you should be safe. Here we go. We're going to see if this thing squishes in and collapses. What I noticed, I may have to elevate this or something, but when this thing sucks, it pulls this right over and uh, almost blocks off the outlet. So I may have to make something. I got it kind of just hooked up. I don't have it hooked up to tools yet. I wanted to see what this is going to do to this hose when uh, the suction is on. No, maybe that guy was right. This is going to be a joke. Next test is to suck up some dust and see if it goes in the bucket or if it goes in the, the shop vac. Well, it's pretty clear this has a lot of suck power. I'm going to work on this connection. Uh, this 20 foot run, uh, I'm not going to have this much. And it's never going to be put up, used as a vacuum. It's going to be connected to tools with free flow of air. Uh, so I don't think I'll have that crazy collapsion. Collapsion? When this uh, hose goes crazy. I sucked up a lot of dust, some fine dust. I want to see how good this dust deputy did at separating it. Uh, what went into here and what went into here. Uh, this was completely empty with a brand new filter. Okay. Well, now I'm pretty sure there's a lot. I sucked up a lot of dust. That's kind of surprising to me. I wasn't sure. How uh, well it was going to separate and keep it in the bucket. It's kind of awkward. Well, that's not too bad, actually. Okay. I'll tell you what, that's pretty impressive. It's quite a bit of dust in there. Okay, what about the static electricity? Uh, the fear the uh, static spark will ignite and explode by lighting all the dust on fire. There is a ton. You see this? Get that. I'm not getting shocked or anything. No zappage. But there was quite a bit of static charge in there just for running for five minutes. Not sure. I've watched several videos that say it's a myth and there's no known case without other circumstances of just static electricity igniting dust and blowing blowing up a workshop. So this connector here is supposed to fit in there and it doesn't. It's extremely close to fitting. I've kind of chamfered the edge a little bit but I'm going to try something now and I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but this is going inside there one way or another tonight. The idea is heat it up with a torch and then start cranking down on this hose clamp and see if we can get it to shrink a little. I think it's ABS or some sort of PVC. I've heated up all sorts of pipes, plastic pipes before, and you can get them to bend and shape them.
It's already doing it. Piece of cake. Whoops. She Man, that's a piece of cake. Oh, that's like super conforming now. So you're going to loosen it up and uh, lower the clamp down a little bit. Scrunch in a whole nother section. All right, let's see if this baby fits. Oh, look at that. Perfect fit. It's actually perfect that it's kind of canted off to the right a little bit because that's the direction the hose is going to go. Sucker's in there. Well, I've skipped a bit of the hose cutting and fitting and hose clamping. And this is kind of the setup. And I said oh, I probably ought to show you a little bit of what's going on. The idea this is going to get supported underneath out of the way. I got all the valves here. And right now I'm hooking up the, um, the hose that goes to the miter saw. So I'm just getting it all hooked up uh, to test it first to see if it's worth my time uh, coming up with a, a permanent mounting solution. Ah, oh, so close. So this is what I've come up with as a temporary solution. Forty-five to forty-five. So as you can see, I still have fifty feet of hose. So far I've only used the twenty feet that came with the kit. The kit that had a couple of these things, the gates, and these hose clamps. Now I have a feeling that I'm gonna have to do hard piping in some of the sections of this big loop that goes across the floor, up the wall, across the ceiling, and then connects to the flexible hose that will hook into my sander so I can get rid of my sock. To satisfy my curiosity, I'm just gonna hook this hose right up to the sander, all coiled up like this, and the other end into the blast gate that's going to go for the sander. These things are awkward getting these on the connections. Uh, the only concern I have is there's too much resistance having this hooked up to the sander and it's going to jump and lurch around, uh, shrink up on me. I'm going to shut the one that goes to the miter saw and open the one that goes to the sander and turn it all on and we'll see what happens. Here goes. So for entertainment purposes, I have this 50 foot hose run across the floor, up the wall, wrapped around the, the rafters, and down over here. And I'm going to turn it on and we're going to see what this crazy anaconda does when I put the shop back on. I am going to turn the, shop, uh, the sander on its side. It might get lifted up in the air and start swinging around, who knows.
not too bad. I don't know if I talked about this yet or not, but I built this motor cover uh, to co completely seal the, uh, the table saw in. Uh, there's less noticeable dust in the air. There's still a bit of dust, um, but a lot less. Let's go over to the miter saw. So what you do is you just shut that valve, open up this one. I think the dust that you're seeing um, is the dust that's not being directed up into the dust collection area. This is a 15 year old saw. Um, more modern saws have better dust collection systems designed into them. That doesn't have to do with the vacuum. This has to do with the saw. Overall, I think it's a success. It's definitely a proof of concept. The dust deputy, that cyclone thing, works. It separates the dust. Hardly anything goes into the shop vac. Uh, the blast gates work. The, the Y diverter solid pieces work. I think the, uh, the shortcomings is the hose. The way it slinkies all together. Just typed in dust collection into Amazon. Started surfing around looking for products that had a lot of reviews for or four more stars and the kit that I came up with is what's recommended by most people on Amazon. It's going to go through some tweaks over the next few weeks. I am building a full set of kitchen cabinets um, that will really put this to the test. The table saw is the saw that I use the most. Um, when I do upgrade the miter saw I think I'll see an improvement in the the collection system it comes with the new saws. I said this one is pretty much a job site saw that you have outside cutting up framing lumber. Now the sander, that's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, I didn't see much shrinkage. The way I have it wrapped around, I didn't see anything going on up there. It was this last drop section that <laughs> slinky grayed right up. If I went with a stiffer hose, or I'd have less maneuverability, but we'll see how it plays out. Leave your comments below. What do you think? Keep in mind, this is not the complete installation. This was just the proof of concept to see if the parts that I bought worked. Goodbye.